Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel HRB Embedded and Craft. Today I am going to discuss with you a project includes a module which can be measure the current, power and voltages for a DC supplies to send the values to IoT platform like thingspeak.com. Nowadays, uh, we are using a lot of solar panels and renewable energies for uh, power applications and design a uh, control circuits too. So here, we need to monitor the voltage, power, current and to protect the battery and as well as circuitry. It is essential uh, to uh, monitor and record the parameters like voltage, current and power consumption. For AC circuit, we have already published in our YouTube channel the video with a module of PZDM004T uh, which can measure all the parameters of AC power supply like uh, voltage, current, frequency, power and as well as power factors. Related video link of IoT uh, based AC energy meter using PZDM004T YouTube link is given in the description for your reference. For a DC supply, I found uh, a low cost module which can measure all these parameters is known as IN819 uh, which is very much useful for a small project with the uh, DC supply sources up to uh, 26 volts and uh, 3.2 amps maximum. So uh, I thought I would share some information about this module to discuss uh, the future and its application. Uh, IN819 uh, looks like a very simple uh, with the minimum number of IOs, uh, there are uh, 6 pins on one side and 2 pins are other side. Out of 6 pins, uh, the 2 pins are connected for VCC and ground as an operating voltage of 3 to 5 volts. A pair of pins called SCL and SDA, these pins are used for the clock line of I2C interface and for data line of I2C interface respectively. VIN plus connects to the positive terminal of the power supply that you want to measure and is also known as bus voltage usually up to uh, 26 volts. VIN minus connects to the negative terminal of the voltage supply uh, through a load that you want to measure. Uh, this pin is also where uh, the shunt resistor is placed and is used for current sensing. And for a note, a bus voltage ground and controller ground should be common to measure uh, bus voltage. As I said, uh, the INA-209 uses the I2C protocol to communicate with the microcontrollers and each device on the I2C bus must have unique address. The default I2C address for INA-209 is 0x40. Uh, let us see the future and its specification of INA-219. The operating voltage. The INA-219 operates between 3 to 5 volts that is increasing its compatibility with the various controllers like Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, ESP8266 and ESP32 etc. running at either 3.3 volts or 5 volts logic level. Bus voltage range. Uh, this can monitor uh, power supplies within 0 to uh, 26 volts range that you want to measure. INA-219 monitor a current range of plus or minus 3.2 amps with a precise resolution of 0.8 milliamps. Current sense resistor. This module uses 0.1 ohm shunt resistor with a 1% tolerance and a 2 watt power rating for current sensing. The low resistance value minimizes the power loss, while the 1% tolerance ensures a measurement accuracy. The 2 watt power rating indicates uh, its robustness supporting current measurements up to a, a 3.2 ampere. For a practical testing, I have used some LEDs uh, to test the current voltage and power and to display on the LCD. Here is a sample code for interfacing INA-209 current sensor module with the Arduino. Uh, the code requires Adafruit INA-209 for compilation. Therefore, download the library and add it to a library folder. The first part of the program is to include uh, the wire and Adafruit INA-209 library. The wire library enables the microcontroller to use the I2C communication. 
the adafruit ime pivone library makes the handling of the sensor itself easier uh, because we only need to use one function for each measurement after the two libraries are included the adafruit ime pivone object is created with the name ime pivone this will help for to uh, extract the data from the device in the setup function you open lcd communication because i want to display uh, the measurements lcd display uh, on 20x4 in the second part of the setup function ina219 object is initialized with the begin function and if the object could not be initialized uh, by some wrong connections or some or some faults we know that something with the chip is wrong therefore we print this error message to the serial output as well as lcd display we extract the values from ina219 device using uh, bus voltage equals ina219 dot get bus voltage underscore uh, v now open bracket and close bracket this is the formula generally we are using to extract the uh, values the same uh, thing is followed for current and uh, power in milliwatt and this has to display in the lcd as well as in serial monitor in the last part of the setup function the table is created with all measurements that we want to print and uh, display in the lcd as well as in serial monitor the loop function starts with the creating float variables for each measurement that are all set to zero and continuously print the values uh, this is about uh, the program of the arduino so now let us move uh, towards the uh, working of the project Uh, this is my hardware uh, board i'm um, connected and here uh, this is esp32 uh, motherboard and this is the base uh, esp32 expansion board with the 30 pin and uh, so this is given these pins are expanded here with the uh, ground voltage and signal for each pin it is given here and this side also and uh, there are two uh, number of i2c communication connections that is d21 and 22 is directly connected here so that the two devices i2c devices can be connected in this board and this is compatible with the c pin and here micro usb pin and 12 uh, volt power supply also and here 20 uh, by 4 lcd display i used here to display the parameters of dc voltage and current and this is the main important board ina219 dc module which is uh read the voltage current from the solar panel here this is the cable is connected from solar panel and solar panel is uh, placed in the terrace to uh, receive the solar light and uh, so i am using a small breadboard to connect the leds as a load and we can see that what is the current is taken by uh, these leds through a lcd display let us connect and upload the program or to esp32 board so now i am connecting here Okay, now the program is uh, loaded and this starts displaying a solar energy meter monitored by iot and designed by amai youtube channel hrp embedded and craft okay now uh, this shows a voltage of 8.51 volts is 
uh, generated by a solar panel and the current is 0 0.001 amps by default it is taken 0 0.001 amp and power is shown is 0 0.00 watts so let us connect uh, some leds here to see that so what will be the current is taken by here Okay, now we will connect some load uh, to the solar panel uh, through a INEA 219DC module. I am connecting one resistor uh, that it has a 220 ohm resistor because LEDs are not supposed to connect directly to the higher voltages because it works at some 2.5 to 3 volts only. So now uh, first I am connecting uh, a green LED. Uh, this carries around 0.025 ampere and with the 210 milliwatts one and another green so this also almost 210 milliwatts and 0 0.025 ampere and let me check with the yellow LED so this carries 230 milliwatt and 0 0.028 ampere that is 28 milliamps and here this one a red led this has little bit more power 256 52 milliwatt okay these also same almost 0 0.031 ampere and 258 milliwatts or 0.258 watts and one more same all red LEDs are almost 256 milliwatts. It consumes a power. Okay, let us check first. 220 ohm resistor. If it is directly connected to the solar panel, let us see what is the current is taken, whether it is a correct or not, which carried out by a Ohm's law. Yeah, it is takes uh, 330 milliwatt on 0 0.040 ampere. Uh, with the voltage of 8.35 let us let's write down one side 8.35 volt 0 0.040 ampere and 0 0.330 watts or 330 milliwatt let us check with the uh, ohms law whether it is proved or not or what about our INA 219 module is working uh, perfectly W is equal to V into I 8.35 8.35 into 0 0.04 into 0 0.04 exactly we will get uh, 0 0.33 4 watts yes exactly the what we are getting here is calculated very exactly uh, with the INA 219 module ok friends this is all about uh, uh, INA 219 module and this is becomes the first part of our uh, project and we will see in the part 2 of the project all these parameters of voltage 8.25 volts and current and power all these parameters are will sent to uh, uh, IoT uh, platform like thingspeak.com that we will discuss in the next video. So by the time, thank you for all. Subscribe to my channel and uh, share uh, this video with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you in the next video as a part.